Hello everybody, it's Chief Supremus, and this is the start of a brand new series. It's a little bit different this time. Um, that was to just get this thing started. Um, for those of you expecting Euron, something very odd has occurred with that save file. Namely, it is utterly unusable right now. I have no idea why, and um, it's a little bit odd. Anyhow, all those things aside, um, this is a new series. Moving on from that, save files get corrupted. It's what happens in CK2, you need to just accept that you're building sandcastles on a beach here. So, we're going to be playing as somebody a little bit uh, more normal. Uh, this is Rob Stark. Most of you have probably heard of him. Uh, fair warning for everyone joining who has uh, only watched the shows. Uh, they messed up about one thing and Rob. They were very good back then. They kept everything just about right. They messed up one thing with Rob, and that's his little love triangle. They got Rosalind Frey, right? That's check plus. Good job. Uh, they, they didn't get the other part. It's not some no-name girl from Volantis. It's uh, Jane Westerling, who's the daughter of the Lord of the Crag. Uh, don't ask how he ended up in the Westerlands. Uh, just Leave it at, he fought a series of battles through here, siege down the crag, he ended up getting wounded somewhere in the Bane Fort or the crag, I can't remember which, it's been a little while since I read that book, uh, and ended up needing to be, uh, well, let's just leave it at recovering from his wounds, and wound up uh, accidentally seducing Jane Westerling. Uh, Rob's an idiot, what else is no? Anyhow, that is the what actually happened if you uh, would, would like to read the books it's the only appreciable difference I think you understand the rest uh, of Rob at least they, they muddled a few other plot lines anyway ignoring all that we gotta get this thing started we're Rob we're going to war we need to focus on war it's it's what we need to do our ambitions are to uh, win the war uh, that, that is our job uh, so setting up this series uh, we are going to be playing out as Rob Stark. Uh, unlike a lot of YouTubers who just uh, you know keep on going uh, after they've completed a lot of their objectives, I'm going to be trying to keep this series pretty short and pretty simple. We're trying to win the war as Rob Stark. Uh, win the war is hereby defined as uh, removing Joffrey from the Iron Throne, winning the actual conflict, and uh, getting ice back. Uh, ice should be with him. Where is it? See so you have it. Oh, no, right. They changed how things are done. And yes, he has it. Good old Tywin. Let's set everybody who's important as important. Because I'm pretty sure you guys want to be notified as to what all is going on in the world. Got to set my cousin as important just in case I need him. I think I will be needing him. We'll see exactly what we need to do with Sweet Robin. Uh, Mace needs to be important. Duran needs to be important because you never know what he gets up to. And Stannis the Manus is, of course, important. Uh, in case you guys can't tell, I'm a huge Stannis fanboy. Uh, anyway, what we do up here, let's just set this as important because if we don't, Mance kills everyone. And your can be important. His heir at the moment would be Eddard Tuttle. Interesting. Alrighty. Now we're actually down to making decisions. I don't really know how I'm going to be taking this one. Just to, There's already a Brendelman in my court. Ugh. They need to fix this. Sorry, I, I have absolutely nothing wrong with the idea of Brendelman in my game. My problem is, is Brendelman are mythical creatures in Westeros. They should be the hell over here. Anyway. Ignoring my complaining. It's a patch they need to fix. Anyway. So... Rob, in the books, uh, decides to marry Jane Westerling because honor and all that. But then he gets absolutely butchered by the phrase, as I'm pretty sure everyone here knows. Um, and to be brutally honest, the only real difference between the two of them is Jane has slightly better stats. They both, however, are god-awfully terrible at most stats. They, they, they have no learning... Oh, no, she does. The other one has... Nada. Three ot four zero zero. That's that's terrible. This is better. It's just um we need the phrase. 
for one very obvious reason. If these assholes do their usual assholeish thing of uh, stealing my buddy here and raiding the north with them, um, we're a little bit screwed to actually get back up there if we lose the twins. Because you, you can't just walk through. I'm ignoring that this is CK2 and I can totally just walk through. Um, it ends badly. It ends with this asshole sitting on Winterfell. I don't like that. For obvious reasons. I like this. This doesn't make any sense. Why is it air directly Theon? Agnatic Primogenitor? They need to fix that. Sorry. Um, my slight complaints uh, begin to get drastically more uh, major complaints and slightly less slight complaints. Ah, need to mark Jon Snow. He might be my heir if things end up bad. Um, what do we give Brand? He's crippled. So he's not going to be some amazing duelist. However, he's already brave. Green Dreams are intrigued. Direwolf is martial, though. He's honorable, so there he is intriguing. Huh. I think I'm going to give him pride. See what happens. Uh, sense is not in my court. Rickon is. I don't want to give him Rickon. Yeah, struggles. Good. Uh, he's already rowdy. He has direwolf. He already has a marshal. Eh, that's what you need. Um, next thing. See what all alliances we can garnish. Jack Diddley. Why are there all these stuff right here? Heh, <laughs> mirror read. Ah, uh, we could. Anyway. <laughs> Jane Westerland. Great. Yeah, kid, here you go. Um, nothing like great. If we can get Arya back, we can do wonders with the Veil here. Um, so, <sighs> the main problem I'm having here is... We really should do this, just to win. The problem is, is Rob did that, because Rob is a fucking idiot. Crag is removed from prison, but he doesn't go under me. He's under the Westerlands. Ick. All right, we're being slightly ahistorical here. Yep, that was my decision to make. I fully understand if people make the other decision. That's that's what happens, you know. Oh, a wildly made summer. Glad she's here. Good. Um, but the captain of my household guard should be Brandon Tully. The Blackfish, he's essential. Um, bodyguards. Oh, he's one. You know he's one. Where's the rest of them? Oh, she wasn't actually one, but we'll make her one. Why not? Uh, tutor. He's really good at learning. Lewin is. Yeah, sure. Go for it, Lewin. Took me a minute there. I'm like, wait, he's the maester. Yeah, dude. Uh, the Great Sean is absolutely essential. We'll be using the hell out of him. Big Bucket has got Holy Warrior in this. They've updated a few things since I last played this. Uh, Lord Little I'll keep over the river as well, just because I don't want to uh, go through the issues of what happens when this asshole dies. It, it just gets to be a mess after a while. All these Riz rolls that aren't very good at things. I can create the High Lordship of the Stony, uh, Stony Shore if I really want to. Off of Sea Dragon Point here. Uh, but I don't really want to. Because I don't. No really good reason. I just want to save my money. Actually, is it free? It is free. Huh. Hmm. I could do that. And, but then they're going to be complaining at me that I have too many duchies or something like that. Alright. Ignoring all that. My designated region uh, should be Mother Dearest. Where is she? Actually, no. Foster? He's still alive. 
Do, 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 do. Who do I really want to be my regent? She's bad at everything. I keep forgetting that. Yeah, the game makers really do shit on Catelyn totally. Um, just, they do. She's not good. I can make it the Blackfish. That could be amazing. Rosalind Frey. No. Um, let's let's give it the granddad over here. Yeah, because another cheeky thing you can do is the higher you can get the reputation, your reputation, uh, opinion. Sorry, uh, with Hoster Tully, is the more men he'll give you, and he has a lot of men. You need him. You really, really need him. Like no matter what you do, you need him. Um. Good lampreys, my master whispers, not the damn Bolton. I am not getting. Um, God, he's my master of laws. Um, and he's gonna keep being my master of laws. Great. <clears throat> so members of your council are a little bit better at whacking you. Let's just hope the Bolton doesn't do Bolton things. I need you to serve the court. Everyone else is doing basically what I want them to. You oversee the realm, please, Roderick. Water Castle. Gotta keep a thing on him. Beth. Yeah, okay. Anyway, <clears throat> time to raise up the men. Yeah, I know, right? Now, it used to be in the mod that you had your giant pile of men down here at Riverrun. It was after the Battle of Riverrun. Now, you only have 8,000 men down here, which doesn't make any damn sense. But, we'll take... That was a lot of Tullys. Anyway, that's all the Tully forces we get, which was most of my Vassal levies. And now we have all these Vassal levy up here, which is awesome. Because now it means you actually have a force to fight the Ironborn with, which means you don't have to go through decisions that I just made. Uh, anyway, we made them already. I didn't know they did this. Sorry, they've really changed uh, Rob's uh, start in this. Used to be you, you had to make make a lot of really risky decisions early. Um, now you don't, which is a little weird. I don't know how I think about that one. Talmart middle, Robin one side because I do believe we get flanker already. No, no, trickster, cavalry raider, inspiring raider. Eh, it's about right. Um, we're gonna send the umber to go deal with potential ironborn. Of course, we're gonna start him on his own men because. It's the great shot. I love that dude. Anyway. Uh, our job right now is to go take care of all. It's about the best thing we can do. We can either go try and cut away to King's Landing before anyone can uh, really get after us. Or we can try to cut away to, to the Casterly Rock. Or we can take care of all. Um, the problem is, if you go just straight to King's Landing, the Westerlands forces from Hall and the Westerlands will eventually get together and, you know, Cut you off from behind. But let's see which way everyone goes. We have finally started time. I know, right? Alrighty. Good old Stannis has uh, done his usual letter, and of course we should have known. Of course, the bastards. What the hell are you. phrase. That's yeah, good. Uh, I'll be merciful, at least. And, of course, the Ironborn come for us. We're the King of the North! Alright, I said it. Alrighty. And that bastard Balon has come after us. Theon, you asshole. Anyway. Let's just take a look down here. Yeah, they got 3,000 men in Harrenhal. He's leading his troops in Castamere. <laughs> um... We do have the Kingslayer, which is good. Very good. We need to not let him out of our sight. Like, somebody is going to. I think we now finally got the rest of our bodyguards. Nope, of course we didn't. A Brindleman. Yes, of course. Those actually exist. I am not putting a single Brindleman in charge of anything. Sorry, personal grudges. <laughs> uh, hi, Almaner. Let's just give that to the Manderley Hunt. Howland. 
Good old Reed. Let's try not to piss off the car Starks this time. Try. It's a strong word. Oh, you can rot. I don't give a shit. That would be all the guys we already had in jail. No, you need to stay where they are. I don't want them getting away. Alrighty. So first things first. Status the Manus is in pretty good position in this one. He can just walk the King's Landing and take it uh, most days. His one problem is, is his mace is after him, and he's also after us. So it means he has to do the, the classic, uh, if you're ever... I'll show you this if I ever play as a Baratheon in literally any damn war. Uh, you have to gather all your men and run the hell out of here as fast as possible. Because otherwise the Reach Blob comes and eats you. Like, you can spend no time down here. you got to get north quick. Um, so if you're Robert and Robert's Rebellion, for example, I know I'm rambling a bit here, uh, you want to get north as fast as you can, because you need the Vale and you need the Northmen to save you, and the River Renders. You need these three to save you. It's, it, you don't have enough men. Anyway, all that aside, let's go get Harrenhal. I want it. Also, Arya tends to be at Harrenhal, and if you can take it quickly... You tend to free her. Tully's are taking them. Oh, uh, this is the fray that fights as a Lannister. I'm going to just put him under house arrest, just because. Because these are the Lannister frays. Yep. Um, they're not... This is where cadet branches need to be put in. They, they just need to be put in. I want to smack those 3,000 men before they get back to their buddies. Oh, they're going to get away from us. What? You'd rather fight Stannis than join us. I'm remembering you for that, Wayne. Tis tisk. You have a duty. Well, to serve the Tullys who are under me. I ignore it. They have a duty. I'm technically a Tully, too. Okay, good. Everyone's convinced that I'm awesome. Because I am. He burnt the Rambleton. Well, one of them. Uh, and that'd be people beating on Stannis, which is an idea. Alrighty. Period relations. Always a good thing to have. Um, just because if everyone hates you, it ends badly. Tully's just taking names, man. We're not going to be able to catch him. However, we can go here. You're just gathering up little castles up here, Jor. You're rebuilding them? Yeah. Good job, Mormont. I don't know where the hell he's getting the money from. Oh, well, rip the Brotherhood without banners. They're about to get eaten. And he beheaded the other one. And Jane Westerling is going to take Moon Tea. I'm the secret is safe. Uh, it's it's a good idea, just cause. Um, having bastards is bad. For the facts. Nothing against Jon Snow. It's just most of them tend to want to claim your titles. Ah, uh, Quentin of the Bane for is captured by Lester Tully. So it just seems that rivermen are just getting imprisoned by Tullys. And Frey's. Joyous. Alright, we smashed this little piddling amount of men. It was necessary. Um, now I want to try and take Karen Hall. Because they're going to form up. Ah, Beric Dondarrion has uh, been imprisoned. I will make note of him. Just because it's Beric. I love that dude. Um, you know, fun characters. Hugo the Big Bucket is improved. Excellent. Good job. The walls. Getting it done. Strangely enough, the fucking Reach landed before... Oh, no. Dagmir's here, too. Never mind. Oh, Dagmir. Okay. Umber. You need him. Uh, Trent will do, and give me the wall. There we go. We're gonna go beat on those that will invade the north. 
Lady Mag has some new ideas that are in direct contrast to my previous orders. Deferring to her good judgment, well, I am authoritative, and she dares question me. Hmm. I'll defer to her good judgment this once, just because uh, she's actually better at me than Mar at Marshall. We're practically the same. Alrighty, that's 23,000 men. We have to go deal with them. And by deal with them, I mean kill them. I guess they're heading towards Pink Maiden, because they're probably going to take River Run. I can't let that happen. Like, really can't let that happen. Huh. Why are you going over there? Ugh. Bad David Dendarians. Alright. That means I get there first. And they're going to be dumb enough to cross the river and over a hill at me. Oh, Tywin. There's nobody in charge of this damn thing. Like, for the Prester is pretty good, but upstream? Where are your commanders, Highwin? Where? You're here. Okay, there must be subunit commanders then, but they're getting butchered. Like, utterly butchered. All right, the Greyjoys are actually here now. Glory. Oh, shit. That's a lot of Greyjoys. That's 16,000 Greyjoys. That's not fun. QED, uh, uh, sorry, newsflash. Uh, I like the Greyjoys a little bit. Um, just because they're interesting characters. And no, I don't mean Balon. I, I mean Viterion. Who is the guy probably in charge of this. Yeah, yeah, of course it is. Always is. Alright, awesome. Oh, cool. We're uh, charging in t into battle on top of a direwolf. Getting all that morale bonus and shit. As we just utterly slaughter them in the Pendrick Hills here. And off they all run. We can either give chase to that. Or swoop over here and go deal with everyone over there. I'm in for the swoopy thing. Um, just because giving chase cuts us off from supplies. And puts us rather deep in Westerland's territory. Waiting to get ambushed. I'm trying really hard not to lose this one. Jack B. Lucky just got mauled by a bear. Lion, sorry. He got mauled by a lion. Fitting. <clears throat> you already have torture. Did he start the game with torture? Probably. A car Stark wants to serve me more directly. Of course, buddy. We are kinsmen, after all. You're trying to get to Deepwood Mott. That's not going to be good. We know what happens when Ironborn take Deepwood Mott. I have to get annoyed. Alright, that should be enough men to deal with those pesky, pesky ironborn. However, I really do want to just kick this kid's ass. By this kid, I mean Joffrey. Um, just because he's utterly useless. Ah, uh, I don't like seeing that. The Leech Lord has formed an alliance with Lord John, the Great John. He's married to a fray. Oh boy, this is not going to be good. Oh, and he married Ramsay Bolton to an umber. Great! Great. Why, why'd you do this? Game, why'd you do this? Oh, man. Okay. Um, try really, really hard not to get Red Wedding, and all the Red Wedding guys get together anyway. Throw some mirror, no! I'm drawing quartered. And he got his fire sword. That's bullshit. Really? Really, game? You're, you're gonna do that on me? Come on. Well, at least he's not fire obsessed. Yet. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is everywhere tonight. Look at this man. Come on, get here already. Lazy bastard. Alright, back to Winterfell. Okay, good. The Ironborn are taking heavy losses uh, just from being in the north, because I believe it's winter. Or it's going to be winter soon. Ah, oh, they juked us. Sorry, I gotta focus on micromanaging now. Let's get them. Oh, boy. That sounds like he's dead. Of course he is. Hoster, it's been fun having you, but you're dead. 
Now we have Edmund. Edmer, sorry. Well, I'll make him an advisor. Actually, he's about as good a master of laws as the Leech Lord is. Eh, nah, advisor's just fine for his slot. I need a new designated regent. Edward Tully, no. I don't trust him. I shouldn't trust him, he's my damn cousin. We all know how CK2 programs your cousins. They want your titles. Alrighty. Let's smash through this. Garland Galleon's here, and so's, uh... Vile. Oh, okay. We'll do nothing for now. Smash this dude up. Yeah, that's how we like it. A good win there, didn't lose too many men. Let's go chase the pile. This is just keeping them from coming together. Oh no, Tully's trying to convert people. That's terrible. Engagement theological debate. Yep. Come on, we're Northmen guys. Let's let's not do Faith the Seven bullshit. Ah, good. She's finally old gods. That took long enough. Now, if Ned knew what he was doing... Yes. The Brotherhood without banners really do end up dying the worst death. Uh, you want the little under you. The little? Um... Ah, sorry. He enjoys command of his armies and you're of higher rank. Uh, yeah, but that's a wall. He's a lord. Deal with it. Oh boy. There's a lot of men there. Let's try and get them. Come on, get there. Kill them. Get there. Ah! Uh, but she's still born, so... And he's been married off. <laughs> Excellent. The Sarsfield married Jane Westerling, and then this happened. Great. Um, not mine. Clearly not. They need to fix that. It shouldn't be counted. Anyway. Oh, it's the mountain. Great. Let's hope he doesn't come over here and duel us. What did I just say? Ten? Oh boy, he's gonna smash a fray and then my face. Well, nice knowing you, fray. Uh, yeah, uh huh. And yeah, he's 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 dead. Yeah, good. Uh, well, yeah, he smashed a fray. <laughs> and you'll get a funeral. Um. That will do it. Ah, uh, shit. Did he even wound the mountain? No. Didn't even slow him down. Ah, uh, crap. Here we go. I might kill the mountain? Oh, come on. If I can kill the mountain... Um, wrong, wrong guy. I can kill the mountain. This is impressive. No way. I get two... We killed the mountain. Boys, witness, witness me. We've killed the mountain. We killed the mountain in personal combat. What's up? Holy shit. I didn't think that was possible. Um, I, it was, uh, we have low dual randomness on too. So th th this, this is impossible. What in the Sam hell? Uh, okay, Valor Morgulis, uh, we, 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 we killed the mountain. Uh, how? A noble sacrifice, uh, dear kinsman. We, we, we killed the mountain. I don't even know what life is anymore. He's dead? No. It would have told me. The blackfish is dead? No, it's not possible. The blackfish, no! <sighs> Shit. Okay. We need to replace the blackfish. That's hard. Uh, we got Prester. 
we lost a serious amount of men there. And we need to replace Howland Reed, of course. I don't know how we find him, but he's here. Oh, wow. Somebody's already took King's Landing. Good job, Stannis. Stannis is like, yeah, I see you trying to win a war up there. I'm going to win it for you. 27% in favor of him. That's not that great for having already taken King's Landing. Joffrey must have skittered off alive. Yeah. And everyone else, too. Great. Including Tyrion. But we have Jamie. Anyway. Uh, let's go smash them again. We're just hopping up and down the King's World Road right here and right now. We have a 100% war score right now. You're kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. We've already won the war. That's a clear and forced demand. Yeah. Well, we got Heron Hall back. I've won. The war is won. The Lannisters are in our hands. Ned Stark is avenged. Northmen and Riverlords alike have sacked King's Landing for all it's worth. No, we didn't really, but anyway, it has been sacked. And Stannis is the one that took it, so we're going to give it to him. Good job, Stannis. You are the manis. All is right in the world. We've won our struggle, and we're now the king of the north. Like, in the north, king of the north. Uh, Joffrey Waters. We have him. Um, judge his family justly or just bring me his damn head Joffrey bring me his damn head he, yeah, that's just a clear behead him do it myself enjoy every minute of it has to you know just because. For the presser, be merciful for the moment. Holy crap, you gotta be kidding me. How many prisoners do I have? Bunch. Excellent. You. Why can't I? Great. I can't bring any of them to trial now. That was a mistake. Who upset, upset rulers in the King's Guard? Oh, Jamie, you think you're gonna live? Uh, Cersei is being beheaded. Yep, old way is best way. Uh, boy. Victarion's doing his magic bullshit and beating the crap out of us. That's not good. Victarion, Dagmir, and Balon, of course. We need to get the hell out of there and save some men. Oliver wouldn't want me to cry out strength in his honor. No way. Oh, this this save is awesome. Balon just got his ass murdered myrtleized by the great John. Was up. You know, the one guy I would trust to kill the mountain in hand to hand combat. Just wrecked Balon. Victarion is Iron King now. Good. That smells a lot better. Nice. Peace, peace, but there is no peace. Of course. I'll take a new friend. Oh, the Manderly, of course. Buddy, buddy. We utterly got butchered up there. Let's just pull back our men a little and wait for the men from the south to get here. We're not done yet. We have to beat the Ironborn. However, all that being said, it's been a while. 30 some odd minutes. I will leave beating the Ironborn for next time. Thank you all for watching. Please like and or subscribe, depending on how you've watched and you've enjoyed the content. Blah, I can talk. I've been Rob Stark, and yeah, we won already. Part 1. 30 some odd minutes. And we killed the mountain. Uh, what better, you know, 
How else can I amuse you? Let me know. See you in the next one, guys. Peace.